to watch Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but the fucking stupid thing wouldn't play. So now I have to watch Mania. All right, let's do this. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I still don't know where to look when I do these things. So, um, happy Indigenous People Day. I know um, it's Columbus Day. We turned over and made this day uh, just another fucking awesome holiday to not have to go to work and to chill out, sleep in, and enjoy being Indigenous. So yay! Today, uh, so I had some kind of day today, you know, being over the um, breakup. Anywho, I watched this thing today called Mania. And I really didn't know what to expect. So here we go. Maniac starts off with a foreword. So it's just this blank with a bunch of words on it that talks about um, definition of the word maniac. <laughs> and they're talking about how the brain does not think. Uh, fear is a psychic disease, and that is what makes criminals. Uh, it's just, just a bunch of mumbo jumbo about fear being the reason that it's like a sickness of the brain that causes criminals. And in this, um, the study of 40,000 criminals, uh, that, that was the case. I don't know. Anywho, so we go on... <laughs> these two dudes in a lab and one dude is like uh this older bearded guy and this other dude's like this younger guy with this fucking eraser head haircut it just like looks curly all and um the older guy he's like i think now is the time to try my experiment on a human and he was like i was told that there was someone at the morgue who um died of exhaust fumes so like a suicide victim and he's like, Maxwell. And Maxwell's the guy with the eraser head haircut. Anyway, Maxwell's like, this is wrong. You can't be doing this. You're a sick dog to be doing this. And he's like, and you and your admissible cat. And this cat's just like, Row. and I'm like, leave the fucking cat out of this. Leave it out. It's like licking its fucking crotch while you guys are doing experiments on human bodies leave the fucking cat out um maxwell's like no this is so wrong and i'm gonna just call him professor santa so anyway professor santa is like well i'm gonna call the cops and tell me you're in it this whole time what do you think of that and so maxwell's like fine let's do this so they go down to the morgue and they go, they look at this woman it's like a pretty woman she doesn't look like she's been dead at all. She just looks, you know, pretty. It, um, this is uh, Maria, whatever, suicide victim, age 24. And <laughs> Dr. Professor Santa pulls out this giant fucking needle. <laughs> he just like sticks it in her neck. <sighs> and then um, while they're doing that, these two guys, I'm not really sure what they are. I don't know if they're like, I think they might be security guards or they work for that morgue, one of them says, <laughs> did you see the beaut that came in today? <laughs> the other guys, did I? They're fucking talking about a dead body and they're just like creaming. Oh, it's just fucking gross. It's just nasty. They're like, oh, the way. So these, uh, the doctor, Professor Santa and Maxwell are just like, rubbing her limbs like rubbing her arms and her legs and they're like ah oh, it's gonna take take effect blah, 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 blah. and then um all of a sudden her face starts to twitch like her lips and her eyes and uh <laughs> they take her body and they they steal it and so those two fucking pervs that were talking about this beaut anyway they go in and they they see that the body's gone and they go and talk to this um I think they're at like a police station or something and they're like yeah um our body has been missing and we think we know who it is and we think it's this per this professor who looks like santa and earlier they're like those two were laughing and joking about the guy looking like santa anyway 
they look like this and that and then um so these are your suspects and the, the police officer's like okay okay um got it police officers talking he gets on the phone and he's talking to i don't know who but uh, maybe his supervisor or something and he's like ah oh, don maxwell the only fucker that i know the name of they keep saying the other guy's name sometimes that's hard to understand like whatever professor santa and don maxwell who is an actor and a vaudeville performer so that was still a thing they said we need to look into these guys back in their uh lab and professor santa's like uh it's gonna take 24 hours to take effect and then we'll see what happens every time they they talk about this they'll like show this jar with this heart in it that's like beating professor santa had been wanting to uh make it so that he can put this heart into some like body and reanimate it and that was like his goal anyway the, per the professor santa says the end will justify the means whatever shitty thing he's he has planned to do with these bodies and this heart and all that shit it will you know work itself out so he wants maxwell to steal something i think it's a heart i'm not a hundred percent sure but he wants him to go to the morgue and steal something maxwell die hard shimmies his way through this like thing and then he makes his way to the morgue it busts his way down into the morgue <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so he goes down and there's these two little tiny dogs like, and they're just going at it just like rah, rah, rah. they're just like fighting each other <laughs> and the fucking guy <laughs> sees these dogs <laughs> i don't know i guess they were too vicious for him <laughs> so he fucking was like screw this and he just like runs and they just show him <laughs> running past these little fucking dogs that are like this big and these little dogs are just going at it just fucking fighting each other and he just goes <laughs> and these little dogs stop and they're like okay let's resume killing each other <laughs> so he goes <laughs> and he goes to the fucking professor santa and he's like i'm sorry <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't. And Professor Santa's fucking pissed. <sighs> he's just angry and he's like, what? You couldn't do this. So he he goes to his drawer. <laughs> goes to his drawer and opens up and pulls out this fucking pistol. <laughs> And this whole time, so he, so he goes on, like, this rampage, just standing there, talking about, like, what he wants to do and how pissed he, he is and so, how mad he is. And he's just like, da-da-da-da. But this whole time, the camera is not even focused on him. It's focused on the shit in the background, the fucking bottles that have nothing to do with the story. He's just like, blah, 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 making all this fucking, <laughs> this fucking Oscar speech. And he's not even in focus. And it's all focus on this bullshit in the background. Ugh. So funny. Somehow, the other guy, Maxwell, gets the gun. And he shoots Professor Santa. And Professor Santa <laughs> falls to the ground. And he's just standing there like... <laughs> so fucking Maxwell goes and just like... <laughs> closes his eyes. And then he's like... Fuck what am i gonna do what am i gonna do so this chick <clears throat> this lady in black comes to the door she comes in she knocks on the door maxwell goes over and he answers it and she's like hello i need to see the professor right now because of course everyone back in the day had some kind of fucked up englishy accent even you even though they were in america well i need to speak to the professor and he's like um, the professor's not here right now. And she's all like, 
uh, but I have my husband here, and um, he's all fucked up. And Maxwell's like, okay, all right, I'll be with you in a second. So he runs back into the lab, and of course, there's this giant fucking toolbox with the words that say makeup artist on there. Okay. So I get that he was an actor and he might have something like that on his person. But why would he have it in the professor's lab? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. So anyway, he has that fucking toolbox that says makeup artist on. And he starts cutting off, cutting off his, you know, his hair. And um, a second, it, it flat, you know it cuts away and then he had done like the old man makeup he made his hair white um and somehow that thing had a fucking handful of gray pubes that he can glue onto his fucking face to make a beard a santa beard either that or he cut the guy's beard off and glued it to his face but um I don't think so because you see the body later and no no for some reason that bag had <laughs> beer you could glue onto his face uh, so stupid anyway he goes <clears throat> so he goes oh oh hi I'm the professor and uh he brings him in and this lady uh what the fuck is her name Mrs. Buckley and her husband, Mr. Buckley, anyway, this guy's all fucked up. Anyway, he sits down and Maxwell's like, goes to his, um, goes to the, the lab and he's like, what can I do? What can I do? I'm not a doctor. So he goes into the, um, the lab and he pulls out a neat, like, a vial and it's... <laughs> And the vial says super adrenaline. And he's like, no, no, what's this? Water? Water? Water won't do anything. So, <laughs> so he goes and, and he mistakes the water for the, uh, the super adrenaline. <laughs> and he picks up the super he adrenaline. Injects this poor guy with water. <laughs> and this guy's like, Ugh, ugh. He starts turning into the fucking Tasmanian devil. He just goes insane and <laughs> starts fucking freaking out. And while he's in this freak out, this random fucking bitch just walks out. She's like in a white nightgown, like this young fucking like Betty Boop looking bitch. And she walks out of nowhere. Oh, and he fucking, this guy... Tasmanian devil takes her and it's like running out with her. So he runs out with her. <laughs> and Maxwell and Mrs. Buckley are like, okay, what do we do now? <laughs> so Mrs. Buckley, like, she's like freaking out and she runs and she like stumbles upon something and she looks down and she sees it was the body of uh professor santa and maxwell she's like what is this maxwell's like oh oh uh that was my my assistant um he died earlier you know of natural causes and she's like why is he still why is he still down here i can restore him all i need is a heart and um, I could fix him and make him alive. And then Mrs. Buckley's like, okay, well, tit for tat, you know. You help me with this, and, or I'll help you with this. You help me, like, fix my husband. And he's like, deal. Maxwell takes Professor Santa down into the basement. And... Yeah, cask of Amontillado's him. So, if you don't know what that is, it's Edgar Allan Poe. This guy opens up this brick wall and shoves this poor dude into that brick wall and boards it back up. So that's exactly what happens here. But when he does that, like there's like, he starts seeing visions of a cat, like a cat skull and then some demons, and then a black cat just fucking, that same cat, I think, from earlier, 
his cat um, jumps into this wall and he like boards it up. The Buckley guy had strangled whoever this bitch was that ran out earlier. He strangles her and she's dead. And um, Maxwell, after he boards up this dude, there's another cat that runs in and he grabs a cat and he just like fucking pops the cat's eye out. <laughs> Pops the cat's eye out. He says, it be an oyster or a grape. F pops that shit in his mouth and eats it. He eats the fucking eye. It goes, uh, it skips to the cop. There's a cop trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. He goes and talks to some random neighbor lady. Do you know uh, Dr. Meyer Schultz and his assistant, Don Maxwell? Sure. That's sort of queer, I'd say. There's lots of queer goings on up there. Why, they even brought a dead dog back to life once. Well, that sounds very remarkable to me. It may be, but to my notion, those that monkeys with what they got no business to gets queer sooner or later. Maybe you're right. I know I am. They go and talk to another guy that um, has, a, like, a cat farm. So it's like all these... He's got a bunch of, sh a bunch of cats in cages and the p policeman is like uh do you know anything about this professor that's missing and he says so this guy just starts talking about his cat business and the professor's like you're what the rats eat the cat the cats eat the rats and I get the skin. And the rats, sorry, the cats provide furs. So it's, his, it's like a cat fur business. Which is ridiculous because cats are so fucking hairy. Like, why would you want to wear a cat? You get hair all over the fucking place. I don't, I don't really know how this works. I don't know, like, I don't know if there's a Cruella de Vil for cats. I would not want to wear a fucking cat fur. The film's room or apartment building. And there's like four of these Betty Boop looking bitches. They have like Betty Boop little hair. And then they're, they're, they're dancing the little mm, dances and talking like this, you know, like in Betty Boop. And... So one's dancing, and she's just like, boop, 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 you know, and then there's these other ones. One's taking a bath, one's bitching because she wants to take a bath. And apparently one of these is the wife of Maxwell. So Maxwell's supposed to be this vaudeville actor. And one of the girls sees this article, and she's like, oh, my God, uh, your husband's going to be rich. And it's like, he had won this inheritance, so it's like, oh, your husband's rich. What are you going to do? And she's just like, oh, my God. I, uh, I better go tell him or some junk. I'm kind of confused. I, I couldn't tell these bitches apart. So one of these girls, one of these Betty Boop looking girls go out and they go to um, the lab <clears throat> and tells him. <laughs> They're like... Uh, oh my god, I got this inheritance, uh, blah, blah, blah. And he was still in his fucking Professor Santa garb. He's like, oh, oh, great. Um, Maxwell will be there in about eight hours. Uh, wait, was it eight hours? He's like, I'll be there tonight and um, we can talk about that. So there is quite a lot of boobs in this movie which i was surprised of like they like i know back in the day they wouldn't even let you kiss for more like three seconds long but there's a fucking plethora of titties in this movie I'm not gonna lie like the like so when buck buckley steals that one chick he takes her and just like rips her shirt off and they have some titties and then this one um <laughs> Somehow, he manipulates Mrs. Buckley and this blonde Betty Boop girl. He tells them 
each of them that he's going to, they need to inject this stuff into each other. Like he does this one at a time. Um, somehow he gets these two broads <clears throat> into this dungeon. The, the same dungeon that has Professor Santa in a wall. So he, so he takes them down there, just, you know, they're together, one, one after the other. He closes the door behind them. Boom. Closes the door. And those bitches stick each other. They just fucking, ah! They started cat fighting. They're cat fighting down there, ripping off each other's clothes. <laughs> oh my God. And all this whole time, you know, Maxwell is up there and these bitches are just like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> They're just cat fighting and tearing off each other's clothes. They're punching each other out. One of them grabs a fucking two by four and starts beating the other one. Like, why? What did he... How did he manipulate them to do that? Anyway, so he's up there, and then the, <laughs> the cops come, and they're like, hey, what's going on? And he takes them down there, and these girls are still fighting. And so the cop is like, like, where's the body? And they start tearing down wall and of course professor santa fucking falls out of it <laughs> but anyway so another caption comes down and talks about insanity and then the next clip you know maxwell's behind bars and he's just like <laughs> you know saying this fucking dumbass monologue anyway so that's how it ends with maxwell behind bars we learn, I had learned nothing really from this movie. <sighs> the cats, where the fuck did that come in? The only time that it came in was the cat that had leaped inside earlier. Like, I think I told you guys how it leaped inside right before he had boarded up um, Professor Santa. So it was the cat that was inside the wall that was um, crying that made the cops open the wall. And that was what made them find Professor Santa's body. There was a lot of mumbo jumbo that they showed with the captions that honestly, it was kind of bo boring. I didn't really learn a lot, but some some of the scenes were pretty funny that was um maniac i hope you enjoyed this review uh good night bye